Let me show you how I cut and freshen up my long curtain bangs. I start by sectioning off my hair into a triangle like this. Also, make sure to straighten your hair before cutting so that everything comes out even. The bigger the triangle, the thicker your bangs will be. I usually cut my hair dry because I like seeing the immediate results. You can wet it though if you find that easier, but that's all up to you. Now taking the middle section of my hair like this, and I'm going to cut it by my lips. If you want even longer curtain bangs, then you can cut it by your chin. So just cut it straight across. And sometimes even when you cut it straight across like this, it doesn't come out even. So just make sure that it is even before you go to the next step. Once I am satisfied, I point cut it upwards so that I can blend it all out. Making sure that I am cutting straight up so I'm not cutting off any length, but just rather blending it out all together to the best of my ability. Remember that when you cut your bangs, it's always going to curl up a little bit and get shorter while styling. So make sure that you cut a little bit at a time, especially if it's your first time and uncertain of the length. For the longer sections, I am going to cut my bangs diagonally like this so that it kind of meets the section that we just cut off. Then once again, point cutting and blending that whole section together. Take your time with blending because this is a really important step. And like I mentioned, make sure that you really cut upward so that you really blend rather than accidentally cutting off any length. At the end of this, you want to see a triangle like this in front of your face. The more symmetric the triangle is, the better. After cutting and blending it out, I call that the rough cut. Now I reach for my thinning shears and I thin out just the bottom sections of my bang. Any sections that is a little bit thicker, I make sure to thin it out by the ends like this, making it way less blunt and heavy so that when I style my hair, the bangs will actually last longer and it also gives a nice, soft, wispy look. This is what's gonna make it look more professional. Now it's time to style. I am keeping it very simple today and wetting my hair a little bit first. And then I use my one step hair dryer, placing my hair over the tool and slowly rotating the tool as I blow dry. You can do this with a hair straightener as well, but it won't come out as smooth or consistent. Blow drying your bangs is hands down the best way to style it. And that was it folks let me know how it goes if you decide to chop off your hair i wish you the best of luck and i will see you in my next one